how bad do you want it? I've been reading a lot of new wave pop psychology and it's pretty interesting. It really is. Because I've got a few thoughts here. Motivation is sometimes it can be fleeting. Sometimes it can be non-existent. And I have looked at some things about how to be successful that many people maybe not take in consideration because you never thought about it. But give you an example I got a troll right a hater a knuckle dragging nasty mealy minded hater and this person actually got in trouble because they were hating so hard but I looked at their whole background and they got a YouTube channel nothing's going on got a blog nothing's going on and I looked at what they were trying to do to me and it was like they were putting more time, energy, and effort trying to fuck with me than they were trying to build their own enterprise. That makes no sense. That's hustling backwards. But I thought about it because I'm a, I'm a student of life. And I had to really, really think about it. It's like, okay, why is this joker messing around on my dick? That's for another troll there. Versus ignoring me working hard on whatever they are working on and crushing it then I thought about it everyone learns differently right thus everyone is motivated by different things and then when I started to really hone that in I was like oh so whatever I said or did I pushed a motivational trigger that was super super potent where this person was performing at a higher level in fuckery than they were for positive gain. And I see it over and over and over again. And I was like, what is wrong with these people? And then I really had to step back and look at not what's wrong with these people. How are these people wired? I want you to think about it. Like dating or relationships. The best way to get a really good person in your life, hold on, wait for it, become the best person that you can be. That's the best way that you can get a really good person in life is by you becoming the best person that you can be from an organic, from an authentic standpoint versus tactics. But that's hard. That's really, really hard. So it's easier to go into the fuckery mode than it is to go into the true success mode. Uh, this year, I've seen more offers from advertisers, brands, people saying, hey, let's work together. And I'm gonna go back on the relationship thing and I'm gonna talk about myself. As I improved my manhood, I improved the quality of women that entered my life. And that's all I'm gonna say on that and with the brands and stuff but the thing is it's been this slow grind and i think that online you're seeing several different demographics several and what i mean by that is everyone is looking at the 10 to 15 year old demographic 15 to 18 demographic 18 to 22 18 to 25 25 that's a whole different world. I was at the bank the other day and I was talking to one of the managers and I was like, you're 20 something, 30 something, he's like 20 something. And we just started talking about Facebook. We started, he doesn't, he's like, I don't do Facebook. None of my friends do Facebook, okay? Because that's a different demographic. So people are looking at how these demographics expand because it's the 10 to 15, 15 to 18, 18 to 25. That's the group that drives a lot of this online media. They drive it, they own it, they create it. They're, they're the sale, they're, they're the sentinels. They're the ones, they're the vanguard of this new stuff. And once the stuff becomes mainstream or, you know, I'm on it, Nana's on it, Grandpa's on it, it's no longer cool. And he said, yeah, we on to something else. So you can't look at that demographic as a term for internet success unless you're part of that demographic and you can operate and you can swim in those waters. Uh, 
on this YouTube channel. I mean, they give you statistics. My sweet spot is 25 to 45. Uh, kids, you know, t under 25, they're kind of looking at me like, ah, dude, I'm not trying to hear you. I'm not trying to do all that stuff. But guys, 25, 45, they've been where I've been. They, the, the stuff that resonates, it, 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 it fits into their mojo. Yeah, they're like, okay, I get it. I know he's saying some things I've experienced. He's saying some things that I may experience. I kind of feel this dude. See, you can't give your message to the wrong demographic and expect it to resonate. And part of that frustration with trolls is they're looking at the topical success and they're not looking at all the layers that may be part of that success. And that's what kills them because I got a lot of folks who like, hey, you know, I run a company, I have employees, and they're like, hey, man, let's you know, talk like we boys because they see me as a peer, which is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, I'm not a peer. I own a business. I'm, I'm doing something different. And that goes back to those layers because from the topical layers, it looks like, hey, I'm just a guy on the internet talking shit in my, in my boxers. But you start to peel back those layers it's like this guy has had several businesses this guy has an incredible work ethic this guy doesn't give up and then when you start to look at the players because see I don't really look at the new a lot of the new jacks a lot of the new internet people for long-term success I look at them I study them for tactics but I go back to regular business models in case in point like for hustlers Kung Fu life skills the site has been up for about a year now. A lot of feedback, a lot of information, a lot of data, right? And I know to fix this stuff is going, the simplest solution is the one I didn't want to do, but really, is to hire someone so when you sign up for Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, you get a phone call. Not an email, you get an email, but you also get a phone call. And the phone call is like, hey, we're just checking on you, making sure that you get everything. If you got some questions, you can text me. I'll respond pretty rapidly because a lot of places online aren't doing that. They're trying to get away from that. So I'm the throwback kid because I, you know, I'll be 50 this year. I remember when there was no internet. I remember when stores closed on Sunday. I remember when everybody had one phone and you know one of your special little friends had a phone installed in their room Ooh, that was special I remember when texting on face on uh, cell phones was a bitch you had to hit the button three four times just for one letter oh so with part of that is people don't change everyone wants to be responded to taken care of and that's what we're gonna do with hustlers kung fu the brand but we can't help everybody. So we had to start segmenting and like, who am I gonna to speak to? And I just told you who I'm speaking to, 25 to 45, guy more than likely has a, doesn't ha has a degree or has half of one of them, which is really funny, and is looking for something different. Is looking for that mentor they didn't get with dad. Dad may be in the picture. Dad may be one of the best motherfuckers on the planet, but dad never ran a business. Um, you know, guys are looking for that. Now, my mentors growing up, uh, Mr. Youngblood, who owned a development company, uh, Dennis Campbell, who was a pharmacist, I sat, literally sat at the foot of entrepreneurs and I was absorbing this stuff through osmosis and I didn't have no clue that I was doing that. I mean, I had none. You know, uh, just throw this in there. Like someone that popped out like, hey dude, I saw your address. You know, I found you in five seconds. Eh, actually, you did. I moved. Okay, guys, I've, I've been on YouTube for eight years and I've been online for a long time. You don't see nothing in my personal life unless I want you to see it because I know how some people are. And oh yeah, if anyone just happens to show up, I let the new owners know that call the police immediately. Don't even try to talk to them. Just say, hey, go away, call the police. So if you want to do that, that's on you. But Part of this thing is you got to understand what's your motivation. And if you are more prone to becoming 
energized, taking more action because someone pissed you off than you taking care of yourself, you got to look at how you're wired. You got to really look at your behaviors and your habits because behaviors and habits are going to be much more indicative of your success than your desires, your wants, and even your talent or your IQ. That's all I got for you. Be sure to follow me here on Facebook. Uh, it's maybe on YouTube because see, you know, I'm, I'm testing stuff. But you know, you'll see a card and just follow me, and there'll be more stuff. And with that, I'm out.